think we've already started. We've started. We didn't know it was cooking class and Tai Chi lesson rolled into one. But I'm going to announce these wonderful people um, officially because we have chef, Master Chef um, Martin Yan here and we have Ying Kompenstein. And of course we have the great pleasure of continuing our food and wine festival with them. And isn't it wonderful that they've teamed up today? So we're very, very blessed to present Ying and Yan. And I would like to invite my good friend Ying. I met Martin 20 years ago when I just started my writing career. I was working on my second cookbook. Martin was doing a PBS fundraising in Denver. So I was very nervous. A friend introduced us. Martin was so nice. After we talked for five minutes, he invited me and my husband for dinner. I said, how nice is that? So the whole time through the dinner, I was thinking, should I ask him to write me a foreword for my next cookbook or should I not? So I wasn't sure, you know, I've tried to be a good, polite Chinese person and I just, you know, we talk and then I just casually mentioned that I'm working on my second cookbook. Martin is so generous. She said, well, send it over. Uh, if I like it, I will write you a foreword. <laughs> you know what, Martin, just because you said that, I re-added my book five more times because I want to make sure you like it. So I send it over. Not only he liked it, he wrote me a wonderful foreword. He also sent me his wonderful life. I still have it in my kitchen. I don't know if you remember. I use this a lot. All we try to do, Ying and myself, is try to encourage young people and people around the world to eat healthy, eat delicious and healthy food. At the same time, don't waste food. Yeah, well, Martin is good at it with his life and doing his cooking. That's his way. His TV show is so popular. All the kids love it. So the way I do it, I find with kids, is if you can get them involved into cooking and also add the aspect of story. So a lot of my children's books have a recipe at the back. So I introduce the Chinese tradition, Chinese culture through the food. So when we decided we're going to do this, I said, Martin, I am going to give you a little outline of one of my story, and you got to create a recipe. And we're going to have to see what he's going to do. So this is what I do. I travel around the world. This is in Singapore. The student, they will read my story, and they will cook it, and I will cook with them. And you know, it's really rewarding to see all the boys get really excited cooking. This is my way to get the kids eat healthy. This is the picture we took before the Halloween. We're making dumpling to go to a Halloween party. I have a question for you guys. I was looking at my son, we're making the dumpling. I was thinking, if I'm a ghost, what would I like to eat? What would I like to put in my dumpling? Martin, what would you like to put in your dumpling if you're a ghost? I will put in things I love, like shrimp and spinach and healthy stuff. And maybe I don't want to eat myself. You think so? OK, yeah. anyone else? Come on, be, be creative. What would you like to eat if you're a ghost? What is it? Strawberry. Strawberry. Chocolate. chocolate. OK, chocolate. well, that Definitely. could be my next book. <laughs> Dumpling chocolate. Yeah. What about this? I look at my son, he's so cute. So I said, well, I'm going to write a story. If I'm a ghost, I would love to eat a choppy boy. What do you think? <laughs> so that's what inspired me to write this story. So, long ago in China, in Beijing, there's a hungry ghost. He's so hungry, he's about, he was ready to eat anything. He was so lucky, and he spotted a choppy boy on the street. And that boy looked a lot like my son. You know, that's before he goes through the growth spurt, he got a little chunky. Madam, what do you think? Would you like to make the boy dumpling? That's what we're going to do today. We're making more dumpling. In fact... <laughs> well, let's see if we can find... <laughs> now, the ghost took the boy home, said, I'm going to eat you. So the boy said, are you going to eat me raw? And the ghost said, why not? And the boy said, but I think I taste much better if you cook me in the dumpling. And I know a great dumpling recipe. So the poor ghost, he ran around. He's there to search in all the ingredients. Instead for me to tell you all the stories, you guys have to get a book. <laughs> but at the end of all my books, there's a recipe they can cook with parents. I think, just like Melton said, right, the best time to do is family together this, we cook together. So what do you do to get kids to eat healthy? Uh, I think the key is, you know, kitchen should be a happy kitchen. 
And also, it should be a fun place. So in my whole presentation, I always encourage the whole family to do it together. I can't possibly let a ghost eat my son. So the whole story is how the boy outsmart the ghost. So at the end of my book, I have a boy free dumplings. Do you guys see that? So Martin is making the boy free dumplings.、Yep. This is what I do. I have a dumpling wrapper. I dip in the the four corner in the in the water, and put some filling here. I just gather and then all together. Can't you? You know, the idea is I tell people is the goal is by the time you cook it and by the time you you know the dumpling come out of the steamer or boil, they stay together. You achieve your goal. This is how they do the one ton. Okay, you fold it into a triangle, and then you, and then you use water on one side, and you twist this one ton. Beautiful. And this then, is the more traditional. I have、yeah. a new friend I met yesterday, and I think she will be perfect. Come on up. And she even dressed up for this. I give her a big hand. Isn't she cute? <laughs> There are too many. There are many ways to do this. One, you can steam.、Okay. One, you can poach. You can One,、that. you can pan、Let's、fry. So we're going to do all three. Right okay. So there's so many ways that you can prepare the dish. Okay, I teach you my simple way, right?、Yes. So this is what we do. You saw we have one wrappers. You know, Martin's one is too fancy. Chef Martin. You dip the four corner in the water, and try not put too much filling in it. Otherwise, it's not going to close. Okay, so the we're gonna, key is. So you're gonna、uh, pinch it. You pinch this, pinch this, pinch it. Very simple. Very simple, and then we、we'll、put on the dump, the carrots chair. Very, very good. Yeah, you do. Now during Chinese New Year, in many parts of China. Here you go, sweetie. During Chinese New Year,、here、the whole family get together with the dumpling. Jiaozi. Just the yeah. Jiaozi. Just the corner. So very, very important. Very good. That the whole family get involved. Good. Okay, put this on your hand. Yeah, put some filling in.、There. I'm gonna pan fry some of these. You gonna pan fry? Put it here. The pan fry you don't have to put the carrot. You pan fry this like、yeah. this. Okay, in the middle. Okay, that's very you good. You put it right then here. Then you gather them together. You put it right here, and then the rest we、yep. steam it. You're doing great job. Or poach it. Pinch this way. Go pinch this way too. Beautiful.、Okay. Yep. Just pinch it. Don't worry、pen、about it. Pan fry it first. And then use、yeah. a tiny bit of water and、yep. cover it up and steam it. Finish cooking. Yeah, yeah very good. Very good. Very good. Nice. Very good. You did first. Very、one. good. Keep it. Do one more. Here. And this doesn't take too long to cook. That's the beauty about cooking this dumpling. You want to start to put this、uh, steam? You want to start steam, Mother? Yeah, let's steam it. Let's start steaming it. Okay, I will. You keep keep at it. So you can pan fry. You know, you once you teach your kids、steam. how to make it, yeah, you、good. can just set、yeah. it up and you can go to watch yeah, your yeah. television you or go walk out. It, When I come home, my son already、like、made、this. all the dumplings. Squeeze it like that's why it's so good to have children to get involved. Yeah, it's the best way to get them away from computer again and spend time with you in the kitchen. And they tell you about their day. Martin, should we give her the bear now? She's so great. Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah, I I didn't have my book, but I have a bear, and we're gonna give her this bear. And the Martin and、Look、I both how, gonna how sign it. Look how wonderful this is. Yeah. I'm gonna show that. You see? Thank you so much you for your help. It's all done. It、yeah. all takes a few minutes. You wanna make、minutes. more? Or you done? See this? Hmm. Very nice.、Huh? Very easy to okay. do. Okay. Thank you, dear. Let's、this、give her the big hand. I'm sorry,、brown. Martin. Crispy. Wow, a little helper. Good job. She is so good. Now she will be the next Martha Stewart <laughs> or Rachel Ray. Yeah. And this is done. Should we start steaming this? Yeah, let's steam it. Okay. Okay. Oh,、Look、is that、in. beautiful? It is really nice. It's translucent. The、so now you guys、fun. all going home to cook with your kids and cook with your grandchildren, right? Train them when they're young. Get them involved. Love cooking. This is how easy it is to create your own sauce.、Oh. Very simple. So everybody can do this at home. It's so wonderful to get your children, your grandchildren, together and work with you in the kitchen because that would be the happy kitchen. A happy kitchen makes a happy family.
Thank you so very much. And thank you, Ying. Thanks, man. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you.